Welcome back everybody, MC here with another video and today I want to show you guys how to defeat the Martian Sorcerer during the Martian Madness event in Terraria. This boss is quite difficult even though it's technically a side boss or would you classify it as an optional boss. When it comes to the Martian Madness event, the event itself is not that dangerous. There are some annoying enemies but if you know what to take out first, it's not too bad. But the reason why the saucer in particular is quite difficult and a lot of people die over and over again to it is because it has a multitude of attacks, two phases, a lot of health, and the, as far as I'm aware, the second most damaging attack in Terraria that doesn't include the Empress of Light during the daytime. And that is the second phase laser. It does a hell of a lot of damage and you have to be very careful. So the first thing I'm going to show you here is how I take out the first phase usually. I try and jump over the Martian Saucer in order to pretty much avoid all of its attacks. I do get hit every now and then of course by the homing missiles or by the lasers, but in general it's a lot harder to get hit by this thing if you jump over its head. That's why I usually try and fight it in lower gravity and obviously I do that by building a sky bridge that allows me to jump into space if I jump high enough and as I'm going over the top of the Martian saucer I attack it from all sides with chlorophyte bullets and the mega shark. You obviously can use other weapons as well it doesn't have to be the exact ones that I'm using right here. Best thing about chlorophyte bullets is you can't really miss so mega shark has a nice strong attack speed and chlorophyte bullets do half decent damage. But the first phase of this fight isn't that difficult compared to the second phase. So what I usually do for the second phase, there's two ways to do this really. Number one is to get the unicorn mount and to run across the sky bridge and don't stop running to the side until you have to turn around of course. And the saucer will never actually be able to reach you. The only time you'll really get hit by this thing is when you are ha when you have to turn around pretty much. You probably shouldn't jump. One of the worst things you can do versus the saucer is to jump when you're in this part of the phase because the saucer is very agile and it's going to just go straight up into the air and hit you multiple times in a row with its laser. So as you can see here, I managed to take it out pretty quickly using this technique. And if you time it correctly, when you're turning around after the laser, you can actually dodge the laser by, as I say, timing it correctly. But I'm going to give another example about how to take out the Martian Madness Saucer the old fashioned way. And I'm going to include the old fashioned way with the new technique that I just showed you. The old fashioned way was to build a skybox and just, just pretty much wait in the skybox with the nurse and you just heal as, the, as your health goes down if you get hit at all. Fortunately, the lasers now go through blocks. So as I said, this is the old fashioned way for a reason. It's kind of out of the meta right now because of the fact that the laser goes through blocks. That laser used to not go through blocks. The Moon Lord laser goes through blocks now as well. And you use the Daedalus Stormbow to attack from above or you use the Yo-Yo. Martian Madness used to be one of my favorite events for this reason. It was very interesting just sitting there and arming the saucer. But unfortunately, they removed the ability to do that because of the laser now going through blocks. So I'm going to use the Daedalus Stormbow with Holy Arrows this time for a little bit just to show you that it's really good to use the Daedalus Stormbow to kill enemies who are on the ground. It's great for crowd control. It doesn't really hit the UFO enough. That's why I prefer the Chlorophyte Bullets from earlier. But it's still good for, as I said, killing the enemies that are shooting you from the ground. Once you get towards the end of the Martian Madness, especially when you get to around 98-99%, less of the normal enemies spawn and it's usually just you versus the Martian Saucer. You get some really good items from the Martian Saucer as well, so make sure you farm the Saucer as much as you can. I'd recommend doing Martian Madness a few times, but we will show you that in a previous video. For now though, we're literally just going to focus on how to take out the Martian Saucer itself. Let me know what you do for the first phase actually as well because the thing about the first phase is it takes a long time to do it the way I do it. 
And if you guys have a quicker way to do it, let me know in the comments and you can share that with other people who are playing Terraria. I mostly focus on the second phase when it comes to this tactic or my tactics because of how damaging the second phase is. I don't mind trying to take my time to kill the first phase simply because it's not that difficult. Even his main attacks don't really do much. As you can see, I kind of gave up with the Daedalus Storm, but you're just not able to hit the saucer enough when it comes to that. And it's more for crowd control than normal enemies anyway. Not really for bosses after Plantera, I would say. You don't really want to use the Daedalus Stormbow against, maybe against Gollum, but after that, it's pretty much fallen off at that stage. So we're just going to take out the rest of this flying saucer real quick. And then I'll show you how to do the strafing again where you go from side to side. There is one thing to point out that you might be able to notice when I'm doing the side to side running against the boss. And that is if you want to do it where you turn often, you can run from say left to right. And as soon as the UFO overtakes you, turn back around, turn left straight away. And then as soon as he overtakes you again, turn right straight away. You're pretty much doing it so that the laser is shot in front of your face rather than you pretty much kiting the saucer the entire time. Now, I'm doing the one thing I told you guys not to do here, and that's probably a good thing that I'm doing it so you can see how bad it is. Don't jump when you're fighting the Martian saucer. It's not worth it. It's just way too quick and agile. As you can see here, I'm doing the little attack or I'm still getting hit by the bloody thing. But every time he goes over my head, you turn around. And as you can see, it's also not foolproof because I'm getting hit more than I'm actually dodging. So that's great. I would almost stick with the run from literally left to right all the way along the sky bridge. And then he won't be able to hit you at all until you have him turn around. And if you're quick enough, you'll be able to stop him from being able to hit you when you turn around in the first place. So... As I said, let me know what you think in the comment section about this. Maybe you have a, another technique for the second phase as well. And thank you very much for watching today's video. I will see you again in the next one. Thank you very much for watching and ta-ta!